you have eighth gens, you know what I'm saying. This is probably the worst engineering design by Honda. Mm. All right, guys, we fucked up. I'm done, fuck this bullshit, I'm leaving. Ooh. What's up, guys? So we are back out of the channel. So for today's video, we are gonna be rerouting some holes in my engine bay. Um, to be exact, it's gonna be the brake booster holes and the EVAP holes. Just to clean it up, it looks real nasty. I can show you in here in a sec. All right, so for the holes we're doing, it's gonna be this holes right here and this holes. And it's gonna get rid of all this clutterness right here. It'll clean up the engine bay a little bit. Just little details goes a long way. These are some braided lines that I got from Amazon, actually. Um, and it's just holes. It's really not doing much. Like I said, it's just, I'm bringing it riding holes. We're not, these aren't oil lines or anything. So it's plastic wrapped with braided. Um, by the way, shout out to Leon for showing me the video. He is sometimes incognito on Instagram. Sometimes he's not. Sorry, I didn't come visit you in New York, buddy. <laughs> but thanks. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so for the first bolt I'm going to undo, it's going to be the, it's a 10 mil, and it's a little bolt back here connected to your valve cover. Um, just undo that clip, <clears throat> undo that bolt, there should be two, one here, one there, the whole thing should become disassembled. Before I even do that, I'm going to take off the uh, breather valve. I've already loosened it, so it should pop right off. Okay, Jim, it's all about the aesthetics. It's an idle air assist valve, I think, is what that's called. So it's like this one's gonna be harder to film. There goes my first loose nut. No ditty. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it here. Of course. Okay, I'm gonna do this clip just because. Okay. Let's see what else is hitting. So that's for the cool packs. I need this still, but I can't see fucking shit with this in the way though. Add some space because it's a little crammed in here. If you have eighth gens, you know what I'm saying. This is probably the worst engineering design by Honda just because it's so fucking tight in here. So we disconnected the uh, coolant hose from the throttle body, taking out the old nasty only pieces. Just this piece out alone is already cleaning up a little bit. Um, I got some coolant leak in from the hose, but we capped it. Well, I'm gonna reroute it here in a sec. And go from there. The other end of that coolant hose. And see where that leads us. Oh shit, coolant's about to go everywhere. We're gonna go ahead and cut a piece of this hose. I'm trying to reroute the coolant hose from the throttle body, and it's not very far, so we're gonna go with about 10 inches. Okay, so I'm using the old clamps, because just clamps at this point. Okay. Oh shit, I don't think that's long enough. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, fuck, that's a long one. Definitely not long enough. Alright, guys, we fucked up. We'll, we'll, we'll cut it again. We'll just cut that wall just to be safe. Okay, we are gonna wrap this back. Hoses in, clamp it down. I just rewrite my hose, the coolant hose, and clamp it back so it doesn't leak anymore. That should hold that in place. And then this one goes to the new one. So I think we got every last hose. So pulling out the, all the OEM nasty bullshit. Look at all that. That is disgusting. All right, so this is the air valve and this is the brake booster. So we're gonna route all that shit. Now this, I don't know what this is, but I think that looks important. So I'm probably gonna put that. Go from there. Look at all that space. Space. Look at all the room for activities. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna start rerouting the uh, brake booster line. Um, I bought this little uh, attachment kit to, for, to just look prettier. And because, yeah, because it looks look at that, just so much prettier. It's about the aesthetics. So this goes into the firewall into the brake booster, and it's gonna come out and line up with the uh, the robotic. Four. Okay. So we got the holes attached to the firewall and the brake booster back there. So I'm gonna route it down through here, underneath the intake, underneath the radiator holes. Pop up through here. All I gotta do is cut and slip it up, slip it wrong to down there. Just look how much cleaner that is. Okay. And got this bad boy. Slip her in like a
think that's most of it. I'm done. Fuck this bullshit. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, last but not least, I got a cap. So the cap was, it fits my an EVAP through the guard body, but it's a little loose, and I don't have any more of these little tiny things, if I really know what they're called. But I put it through the one I got from Amazon, and we'll see if it works, and I think it will. Okay, and we'll just slip it right in. Snug. Snug on this bitch. Back on my intake. Alrighty guys, so I believe we're good. I just did a crank and it, nothing seems to idle weird. But yeah, we're gonna go for a test drive here in a little sec to see if we're good. So here's a quick run out of what we did. So here is the brake booster line. I rerouted it underneath the intake, under, near the battery, through the uh, motor mount, and then back there, if you can see it. Beforehand, it was routed out through this way and along the valve cover line and it comes in connect there. The EVAP, I deleted it. I remember correctly years ago when I installed the Honda, I disabled the EVAP. So what I did was I just completely deleted it. Took, took that motherfucker out and called it a day. It just looks so much cleaner. You don't have all that mess right here in the center. Oh well, yeah, we're good to go. We're gonna go for a test drive and catch on a bit. Alrighty guys, so we just went for a test run and so far she's running fine. Everything seems to be good. Oh yeah, so much cleaner. Now I just need to wash it because she's dirty as hell. I do have an event coming up in Atlanta. Slamming up Atlanta, me and the team will be out there. So come out and see us. But yeah, here she is. Damn, she looks good. Oh, wires are gone. It just looks so much cleaner. It's like getting a fresh haircut, you know? If you're a dude, you get it. That fresh cut, the fresh fade. It's still like a new person, that's all it is. Woo, yeah, there she is. Alrighty guys, so here's a recap of what we did today. Um, I deleted some old OEM wires uh, from EVAP from the brake booster to connect to the firewall. So I got these braided lines. Um, so this is my uh, brake booster. And so I, I rerouted it and went underneath the intake around to the battery. Oh, battery stuck by the way, around the battery, next to the motor mount, all the way back to the firewall, if you can see back there or not. And then for my EVAP, I actually disabled it from Honda years ago. I just finally had the time to take it out. Um, so yeah, and I just cap, cap this end and I cap that end. You can see that it looks so much cleaner. And then a part of those owing wires was also a wire connected to, um, <clears throat> it was actually radiator fluid going into my throttle body. So what I did was I, I also used the, um, the braided lines and I cut the, the holes from here. So you can see from here, it goes into the motor, into the throttle body. It just loops right down. So much cleaner, it's so simple, and it's just, everything's so much better. I would highly recommend it. There's not many YouTube videos out there about it. Um, I, like I said, it's so simple. Use the extra hand because, and you get, get some good pliers because that shit was a pain in the ass. But like I said, there's not many videos out there about it. Hopefully you guys find this one very helpful. If you guys have any more questions, please shoot me a message. Or comment down below. Uh, my IG, if you guys want real time, real time responses, my IG is probably better. Super feels blue. Put it right down, where, which is one of the corners. So yeah. But yeah, here she is, all cleaned up. Only thing I need left to delete is probably my AC line. That's probably in the future. But if I go Craftworks, I don't need to delete that because it has its own reroute, right, babe? Mm. <laughs> but yeah, that, this is why I need y'all support. I need y'all support me. So I can finally go boost and my wife can can show some port and let me get the craft works. She's let me done this, all this bullshit so far. Whole field is built, but she wanted to go craft works. She said, what's the point of going fast? I'm like, I mean, but so yeah. So right now we're just FBO. So yeah, there's that. And we'll go from there. All right guys. So that is it for today's install video. 
Um, comment, like, subscribe down below if you already aren't following me on my social medias from the YouTube to Instagram to Facebook. Um, so what we did today was why I tucked my engine bay. There's not many videos out there to do that. Everybody gatekeeps that shit. I don't know why. I mean, we're all a community here. You know, we should all help each other out. A lot of people have different topics and opinions about that, but that's just me. So I'm here to help y'all and y'all help me. So, cause your boy is going to have his own merch soon. I will show y'all videos. I can maybe post a teaser down below of pictures on either corner, but I'm going to have all that out for you. Contact me through my Instagram, super feels blue somewhere down below. And we'll go from there. Pre-orders are coming up soon. I'm working out details and stuff. On top of like gatekeeping and stuff, shout out to uh, Leon for showing me the video on how to do this stuff. It really helped me a lot. I appreciate it. And Mike and all your other guys from the FD2 chat, you guys have helped me when I came stuck with problems. Like earlier, I didn't know if I was able to delete the EVAP and see what it does. I appreciate y'all for helping me out. Just little things like that, it goes a long way. And I know you guys feel the same way. We just, you guys are more vocal about it, but we'll go from there. I appreciate y'all. Thanks y'all. But yeah, aside of all that, me and the team, Team Tense, we will be down in Atlanta for a show, Slam Enough Atlanta, and we'll be there from March 11th to the 12th. Check us out. If you guys are in town, you guys from Atlanta, Georgia, surrounding states, come on by. We're, we're super friendly. If you guys are shy, we'll make you feel like family. I mean, you are. If, if you watch my past videos, but me and team events and team sessions and all that good stuff, we're super friendly, and we're just a vibe. And that's that's all that's all it is so yeah check me out if you guys can support me in the future we'll go from there only way to move is forward and yeah my theme is leveling up so let's do this let's level up come on show, show some support we'll see y'all there thanks